Dear Diary, our industrial revolution has just begun. Samuel Slater has just brought us the design for a water mill back from Britain. I think it is quite ridiculous that Britain won't share their ideas with us. They even passed laws forbidding any countries to get a hold on designs. They are hiding all their new inventions just to get ahead like it is some race. They began with their new inventions almost 30 years ago. It all began with James Hargreaves inventing the spinning jenny. That machine could spin several different threads with it. After that, in the 1780s, Edmund Cartwright built a loom powered by water. This machine could produce 200 times as much cloth in one single day. Also, in about 1793, the cotton gin was created by Eli Whitney. Finally, it is our country's turn to make a huge difference. I wish Benjamin Franklin were here to see this. He was so intrigued by new inventions. Samuel Slater had to memorize the whole entire design so he wouldn't be caught. Samuel Slater and Moses Brown have now created the very first American mill in December 1970. Dear Diary, the Patent Act was made to protect inventors' rights. Mary Kies was the first one to take out a patent. She invented a new weaving machine. Francis Cabot Lau came up with a genius plan to put spinning and weaving under one roof. Lowell joined together with partners that formed the Boston Associates. Lowell didn't live to see his idea happen, but the Associates continued his plan. In 1817, the Associates had a whole factory town that was named after Francis Cabot Lowell. By 1821, Lowell, Massachusetts is huge. There are so many people. The Boston Associates hired women to work in the mills. I hope to one to be known as a Lowell girl, but my parents aren't sure they are okay with it. But the Boston Associates built boarding houses and have house mothers to take care of us. They even built a church. I really do hope my parents let me go. Dear Diary, I finally work in the mills. Now children as young as seven are working in the mills. They are so quick and small. I guess a lot of families do need the money. Hours are long working in the mills. We work at least 12 hours a day, six days a week. It is so exhausting. We have no free time to ourselves. Dear Diary, wages are beginning to fall and conditions are getting worse. Women and children only get paid half of what men would. Competition in the factory business is getting worse, so employers are taking less interest in us. Maybe this job isn't all that I thought it was going to be. Dear Diary, Eli Whitney has saved manufacturing. Eli Whitney invented what is called interchangeable parts. This will save time and money greatly. His idea is to have each machine make a different part of a gun instead of by hand. He took his idea to Washington. At first, all the officials just laughed at him. <laughs> Big mistake. They thought his plan would never work, but of course, they were wrong. Dear Diary, the cities have grown greatly. It t even takes me 30 minutes to walk from one end of the city to the other. However, conditions are quite poor. The dirt rose to the mud hole so easily, and people just throw their garbage into the streets. Disease is also spreading. I have lost a lot, a lot of friends because of yellow fever. Our city also has attractions. There are stores to buy new clothes. There are plays, museums, racetracks, and even circuses. I love everything that our country has become because of the Industrial Revolution, and I can't wait to see what this future has in store for our great country.